Hi Scorpio, getting ready to do your reading. We're going to do a what's on their mind reading, see what your person's thinking. All right, what is going on for Scorpio? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. And I am open for personal readings at the moment. The link to my website is below. Okay, Scorpio. Two of Swords, overall energy, the Eight of Wands, the Moon, ooh, Tower. This is how they view you, how you're coming across. And the outcome is the Nine of Pentacles. It's a good card to be seen as. I feel like the first thing I feel like here is someone is in their emotions. They may feel like they're in love with you. What I got when I pulled this card was someone like, oh, I don't know how to, like they feel woozy, like they're, what's that, like they're in love. They're deep in their emotions for you, whatever the sign is. They might be a Pisces, but some may see you as having a hard time. Some may see you as moving or being destructive or like just like having a blow up or you may be feeling very emotional. <clears throat> Five of coins, seven of cups, the lovers and 10 of cups. Some of you may have gotten out of a toxic situation or job recently. Some of you may have moved somewhere where you don't know anybody you may feel um that came through in the ex the collective last night did about moving and maybe feeling alone where you live or switching jobs and you know when you start a new job and sometimes you don't know anyone but okay let's see what is going on here yeah i was gonna say i think someone is secretly watching you and that's what i got here with this like they're behind a curtain i know it sounds totally creepy it's not meant to be but they're watching you with the two of swords and they're kind of like falling in love with you. Now, I don't know, again, if you know this person, this may not be a person that you are thinking of, but I can tell they're thinking of you very strongly. So that's exactly what I'm seeing here with that Two of Swords. Um, I think they're trying to decide again, maybe what to do next or who you are. If you're new, definitely watching you, holding back though. Strength always tells me that they're holding back. They don't want to run out there and scare you away or something, but they could be a Leo. If you know this person, maybe they are a Leo. Yeah, I don't get like they're afraid of you. I don't get like they're nervous. As soon as I get that with strength. I get they're just assessing you, assessing who you are, assessing what's going on with you right now. Well, no more when I hit the tower because that'll tell me why they're viewing you as a tower. Okay. What's on their mind is to eight of wands, so communicate. They might be a Virgo. This person's not sure. So again, again, this may be someone who's like not sure how you're feeling about them. They may think you're going through a tough time and you don't want to talk to them. Or maybe they think you're mad at them or... They um, haven't spoken to you in a little while. Maybe maybe they are a little intimidated by you. It's not coming through strongly as that, but it, they definitely, you can see here, they're questioning if this is a good time to start talking to you or reach out to you. How they feel, though, is the moon. So this tells me they're feeling emotional about you. Oh, wow. Maybe because they feel a little possessive. They may be thinking, yeah, like they don't want other people to date you. They don't I want other people, you know, they don't want you as somebody else. You're a great catch. You're theirs. They or they hope, wish they were your theirs, excuse me. Okay. Those are good cards because again, they see you as, you know, the nine of pentacles, which is the outcome. They see you as their lover, their or you know, their partner. They don't want other people to date you. So sometimes the five of swords I see that as a jealousy card. They could get jealous. Now how they view you, how you're coming across is the tower. What's this? <laughs> um, I kind of get your the, the seven of cups is kind of making me laugh because you're kind of like, what the hell? I don't see this person around me. I don't know what you're talking about. But under the deck is the six of cups. Uh, with messages eight of wands okay i have a feeling scorpio for some of you this is not who you're thinking this may be a person who you aren't even expecting to hear from possibly it's not who you maybe have first on your mind i do think you have some history with this person probably like it's not like first i got maybe it's a, a new neighbor a new co-worker someone who's been watching you keeping their eye on you and you really haven't gotten to know them yet Two of cups, seven of cups, eight of coins. This just tells me that either you moved and you started a new job or you moved and you're working a lot. You're not really super focused on love. You may have other options. Again, that's why the seven of cups can mean like dating. Some of you are just casually dating. Others of you are just like, who the hell are you talking about? I don't know who you're talking about. So I'm, I'm going to go work. I'm going to go do my other, other thing, eight of coins. I don't have time for this reading. You know, it's that type of energy is what I'm getting off of that. Like Scorpio's irritated, like looking at all those cups, like what the hell? But um, I think you shared a cup with this person at one point. 
So I think you had some, maybe, maybe some feelings for them or something, or they were just really nice to you, Four Cups. This person might be a little bit intimidated by you. I feel like they try to give you a cup or they try to test the waters with you, but you didn't really want to talk to them. Maybe you had a little attitude going on at that day or you just weren't into them or something. They may have also sent you a little gift, maybe at one time, possibly. Seven of Swords to you, like, I don't know. This person has a sweet energy. Um, I don't think like they're doing anything mean or hurtful or anything like that or have any negative thoughts about you. I think they're actually, they could actually maybe be a Pisces or a Virgo or like a, a, I don't get they're a Gemini. Okay, they could be a fire sign. They could be um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Nine of coins. Ace of wands, very attracted to you, very turned on by you, very thinking that like you would be their perfect match or partner. Okay, so I like this energy because you know what's kind of weird? I feel like this person's hiding behind a cloud. I know it sounds stupid, but I think it's the two of swords that made me feel this way. And they're kind of waiting and watching, but not in a creepy way. They're just thinking about you a lot. And I feel like they miss you. They do tend to get a little jealous. They're wondering what you're doing. You guys may have had a fallout. You might have had a fallout with this person with Hermit and Tower. You may have had an argument or you were triggered or I'm just getting maybe you were just getting influenced by some of the energies that are going on and maybe you were just having a bad day and you snapped at them or something. But they're coming towards you. If you're having financial troubles, also, maybe, again, maybe you're like, you know what, I don't have time for this. i got to work and make some money, and they know that. Um, they may be coming to help with the Nine of Coins coming up in both positions. Two of Coins, Two of Coins. Because I'm getting for some of you, you're not dealing with this person because you're too busy working. you got to make money. You don't have time for love. You're just like, that's not my priority. I'm going to about ready to, you know, i gotta make, I got to make money, so i got to get the rent paid and that type of thing, and you got too much on your plate or something. Three of coins, two of coins, three of coins. I feel like this person, yeah, it's coming towards you with some sort of offer or gift. This person's energy, I'm just going to tell you, Ace of Cups under the deck, is very laid back, at least here in this reading. It's very calm. It's very reassuring. It's kind of like this person is mellow. They have what you need, Scorpio. They want to offer you something. They're not going to come in with a big, like, production and act really you know like pompous or arrogant i get they're just kind of like here you go why don't we start here i feel like it's a very calm casual energy let's go out to lunch let's go out to dinner let's just you know take things slow calm down what's the king of wands energy knight of wands oh five of wands okay queen of wands oh wow who are all these people king of swords king of cups coming out all of a sudden ace of cups could be a same-sex relationship. Uh, I'm going to put them back, dip back down because that's going to get confusing because I think there's a lot of people looking at you. Some of you, because here's the four of coins, ace of coin next. So I'm getting there's some chaos around you. I don't know if this has already happened or if this is coming in. I don't know if people have kind of like an evil eye on you, if some people are jealous of you or some people are giving you a hard time. I do feel like there may be somebody in your past or maybe people in your past, Scorpio, who may be coming back around who you've pissed off. This feels like people like coworkers, family, um, maybe an ex or an ex's girlfriend or people like that. I get there was a time where you were just like at your wit's end and maybe you lashed out at someone or you were, I don't know, I kind of get like fish. Abundance and luck. See, I'm getting the whole reading comes down to like someone giving you money, you being lucky, something money, money wise here, a relationship. I feel like if you give this person the, the green light, cycles and changes with the moons, I feel like if you give this king of wands a green light, they're going to come in very quickly and to help you or something like that. However, I do feel like there's other people around you here. You know what I kind of feel like, Scorpio? Like someone is planning to come after you, like not in a not in like a bad way necessarily, but like they want to fight you, like verbally. There's two people here. You may have gotten mad at one of these people and like this is their spouse or their boyfriend, girlfriend, and they like want to verbally um, attack you. They don't like what you said or did. This could be, you know, feels like an ex or something, but it could be family or friend or it could be almost anybody. 
But I feel like this King of Wands kind of wants to come in and pick you up and swoop you away so you don't have to deal with this person. I feel like you weren't, you're not going to have to deal with this person. I actually feel like there's someone who is like planning a speech or planning what to say or planning something against you, but they're not going to get their chance because this is going to happen right before that or right at the same time. I mean, normally this kind of feels like creditors or someone coming towards you and then you get the money and you pay them, but it doesn't look like that. It doesn't look like a financial in nature. It looks like people who want to argue with you or a, a person, and then they're bringing somebody with them as backup. It's weird because your whole reading is very mellow. Even though with me saying all that, it's very mellow. This person, someone, again... Um, I don't get this as work. I'm trying to see if this is a work reading for some of you. If you're getting some sort of promotion or something or help, I don't get that. Knight of Cups. No, see, I'm telling you, I get a lot of you had a lot of chaos around you and you've been worrying and a lot of stress. And I feel like that could definitely go away in the month of November very quietly and very quickly with just like one person coming in and helping or something. Someone asking you out, someone you weren't expecting coming in and offering you a cup right here. I get, you're actually surprised. I get you expect things to get worse and go downhill and like things to like get harder. Some of you, again, you have too much on your plate. You got too much to do. Um, some of you, again, it could be someone who just again pops in and says, let's go to lunch or dinner. I want to take you out. You may be thinking, I got too much to do. I don't have time for this. Or maybe they want to take you somewhere. This is more like, let's go out for the day and spend the day together and go have fun. And you're thinking, I don't have time for this. I can't take off work or whatever. Um, but I get like you having a good time and this leads to something. There's more going on here that I'm picking up right here. And if I could, I would. I feel like the King of Swords is mad at you. I don't know who this other person is. And the Queen of Wands is too. The Queen of Wands is backing him up. But it could be the other way. It could be she's mad at you and the King of Swords is backing her up. I don't feel like these two go together, believe it or not. I think the King of Cups is you, whether you're masculine or feminine watching this, but I think this is the person coming in. Um, so I don't know if this makes sense because I remember the, what you're going through right now, what the people view you as, what you feel like you're going through is the tower. So I do feel like some of you are like, screw love right now. It's too difficult. I don't have time and I gotta, you know, I gotta focus on my money. I gotta focus on my coins. Some of you may be like, again, having um, financial troubles. You may like having like a lot of bills come at once. Eight of coins, you may be finding your, yeah, you may not have to though. See, I'm seeing something changing here when it comes to your work or your money. Page of coin, queen of swords. I'm going to tell you right now, whatever is going on around you, under the deck is Nine of Cups. I do feel like, I hate to say this, but it is the truth though. I do feel like there's somebody, like maybe even a couple, who are want, are not happy with you, Scorpio, who want to come after you and want to see you go down. I don't think they're going to like do anything to you except maybe argue with you. But they're almost disappointed to see that you're doing well. It sounds kind of mean, but it's kind of like somebody is, this person's heart, not heartbroken because you're moving on. This person's heartbroken because they didn't, get to say their peace or they're mad at you that's just what's coming through the reading i feel like this person over here is very protective so they could be a water sign they could be a fire sign okay what was this person over here what is this person that actually coming up as the king of wands there could be also someone who wants to like shoot their shot with you when it comes to love but they're too slow and they they miss their chance but i just kind of get like it won't matter like you you're not going to care but Someone is very strongly attracted to you. They are gonna be reaching out. They're, they are a little nervous, fluttering heart or makes you nervous, but in a very good way. This is a soulmate. We have lots of them, but, um, and it's meant to be. And it is gonna be unexpected. And that's what I'm kind of getting here, but it's not who you expect to be. Maybe you don't have anyone on your roster. Maybe like you're sitting here racking your brain going, I don't know who this is, but, um, and, but again, this person, soulmate comes out and tells me that this person to me cares about you because we do have a lot of soulmates. We have a lot of people in our soul families. And so for me to get this card, it's, it's like, okay, just tells me that this person has good intentions. Um, they do want to help you in some way or just, you know, be there for you or love you or they care about you overall. So this is a good reading. I don't know why, but I guess 
I have to, I don't say this, but I do feel like there's people jealous of you and that they, they just don't like you and they do want to see you fail or something like that, which I know sounds horrible, but it's the truth. So this could also be attached to this five of swords. It could also be someone who's blocking messages or who knows something who doesn't want to tell you good news because they don't want to see you do well. So I don't know who this is and who's... Some people just pissed off a Scorpio just because of the energy because you do draw out like people's shadow side sometimes. And if they don't want to change, they're going to, you know, <clears throat> go into their shadow side even deeper. Let go is coming out. Let go of what though? Let go. Make room for the new beginning on its way to you now. This could be letting go of arguments, bitterness, anger, hatred towards someone, uh, old fight, but I kind of feel like you already have. I don't feel like you are hanging on to anything too deeply. What is the let go? Anything specific? Eight of coins just came out. Some of you, you may, there you are. You may not have to work anymore. Page of swords, the eight of coins, but it did come out in reverse. Not working, not wanting to work. Someone's got their eye on you. So maybe this is a taller person. This person may be tall. This person may be like a businessman, businesswoman. This person could have some money. Um, they may like want to do things like travel and just have fun. I feel like this would be a good year also for you, Scorpio, if you it allow, if this allows you to like take time off of work, but to keep pursuing something like studying, learning something new, or learning how to, you know, day trade, or learning um, like don't just like. Like keep like pursue something that you have been wanting to pursue maybe for many but it's more like your passion so like if you love makeup or something or fashion to keep pursuing that because I don't feel like you may have some time off here where you don't have to work everything is taken care of you but at the same time I kind of get like it gives you the time to maybe make money in a way that's fun whereas before you didn't have time to do that you had to keep pursuing like you had a job you hated but you had to keep working at, at it because you needed the money what is this person like or are they like about Scorpio? I think this person is very loving. This person can't forget you. This is someone who can't let you go. You're always on their mind. They're, they're not over you, so they want to come back in. Either they're artistic or they like you to be, you're artistic, like you're different, you're creative, or again, I'm getting like pursue something artistic or creative or what you're passionate about coming up here uh, while you're dating this person because you're going to have the time to do things like that some of you are going to be able to quit a job you're going to stop working you don't have to work on whatever you were doing if you especially if you don't like it this person follows you on social media they'll be getting in touch so again you don't have to do anything there's a secret desire with this person they could be smart educated you may um or they may have gone to college they could have worldly smarts they don't have to be like when i see that card just you know educate doesn't mean they have to have like a college degree or something they could be world travel they could have businesses educated in other ways so <clears throat> yeah see i'm getting you're going to a cycle of having more money if you've had money issues for a while now money is going to be pouring in is what i'm getting so you have like a double reading here money's coming in and love what would this person say to you with one card in closing? What would this person say to Scorpio? They could have a name that starts with a B. I'm also getting a, um, a J, B, J, okay. Um, and, but those, the B came through, and then, then I got the J initial, but <laughs> I miss seeing you. Person, yeah, missing you. Spying on you, watching you. I don't get they do a lot of like spying. I don't get they do a lot of stalking. Uh, they might drive by if they know where you live. Oh yeah, um, once or twice. I, I said, like, I can't keep my mind focused. Under the deck, I, I put the deck down. I didn't even notice the two of cups is sitting there. Two of coins, the page of coin in reverse and the two of cups. Some of you, did you guys just get out of a relationship with an air sign or someone or someone who may have been very cold or pushy? Cause I do see there is somebody here and they're showing up in that reading too. So you may be, have also maybe someone has passed in your life. Someone may have died within the last six months or so or a year. Could have been a father figure for some of you. But anyways, this person misses seeing you. They miss being around you. They miss talking to you. I feel like they've asked about you. I feel like they've asked a feminine energy about you, but the feminine doesn't want to tell you because they're jealous. They don't want you to know this person's been asking. 
I see someone knowing that you're going to step into like wealth or step into a really nice relationship with this person and they're jealous of you. They don't want you to be happy. I don't know who this person, this feminine is around you, whether it's a relative or a mother or a sister or a friend, an ex-friend or something. It's just interesting. But I do see someone who like, like they don't want you to succeed for whatever reason. They don't, they don't feel like you deserve it, which is kind of, so you got a lot of different things coming through your reading. The wheel is turning though. Yeah, I get people who are like seeing you move on and then disappointed, disappointed that you, that you didn't choose them. The person you're going to though, again, I think it's someone you are not expecting. It's not who you think. It may be a Pisces, but sometimes the moon shows me someone that's hidden, something that's hidden. And there's that tower energy. So someone may be finding out that you're moved or you're going through a lot or something or that you broke up with someone, but they're happy about that. It could be a Cancer maybe, but again, it could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You may not even know their sign, so I wouldn't overthink it. So I'm going to leave it there, Scorpio. Have a really great week, you guys.